Hi, I'm Joel Jones from Jonesy's Auto Restoration in Ridgefield, Washington, and today I'm going to show you how to mask off a tire so you can paint the rim. The tools and the <clears throat> supplies you're going to need are automotive grade masking paper. This prevents uh, any kind of paint bleed through from actually getting on the tire. Some good quality automotive grade uh, masking tape, a hammer, a pair of scissors, a tire pressure gauge that has the um, uh, fitting on the back so that you can actually deflate the tire, and a Sharpie. Finally, you're going to need some uh, medium density cardboard, not corrugated cardboard and not uh, paper. It needs to be kind of like a cereal box or something that is not corrugated. So you first start by deflating the tire, taking all of the air out of the tire. And then once you've got all the air out of the tire, you take your, your piece of cardboard and you hold it right on the rim and then take your hammer and hammer around the rim. And what this will do is it gives you a, uh, a radius mark of the actual rim itself so that you can transfer that arc and cut it out on the scissors and you can feel it with your fingers and you take the hammer it'll mark through and I don't know if you can see that but you can see a nice arc. You take your sharpie and you want to make a line that offsets that arc so that you when you cut it you're not going to cut directly on the arc but you're going to cut just off of the arc so that <clears throat> when you insert this underneath of the rim, you'll have cardboard all the way under the rim and not just at the edge of the, of the rim. Now, if you're doing this with aluminum wheels, you're not gonna wanna use a hammer because the hammer uh, blows will actually much more easily dent the aluminum. So you just take your scissors and you, you cut out the arc. You don't have to be too accurate on this but you just don't want the arc to be too big because if the arc is too big then you'll have a gap between your actual masking and um, the tire. So then what you want to do is you just want to push down, I'll show you guys here, you just want to push the rim down so that it separates, um, push the tire down so that it separates from the rim and then just insert your piece of cardboard all the way along that. Like so. And then generally you can take this cardboard and you can fold it back and grab some tape. Use whatever you can to hold the cardboard down. Grab some tape and then tape the cardboard to the tire. And that will give you an almost perfect uh, masked edge around the rim so that you can actually get paint inside here and paint all the way around. Now, at, when you have seams like this, you just want you take your next piece of cardboard and overlap it just a little bit because you can push the tire down and slip the cardboard underneath of there. You don't need to worry about this cardboard coming out because the pressure of the rubber tire is pinching it between the rim. So you do that and then you take your automotive grade masking paper and fill in any of the gaps, fill in any of cover the rest of the tire um, and then you're ready to paint. Now I would recommend that you only paint one side of the of the rim at a time but you can actually hold the tire up on edge and uh, paint both. Uh, just kind of depends on on what you what kind of facility you have and how, how you can hold the tire. But that should show you how a good way to mask the tire and rim.